Hello, everyone, and welcome again to Ferris Sports Update. I'm your host, Rob Bentley, and thanks for tuning in. On today's show, we'll preview a busy week of Bulldog athletics as the Ferris State hockey, men's and women's basketball teams all in action. And we'll start with Bulldog hockey. And with us, head coach Bob Daniels. Coach, uh, welcome to the show. And I know it was uh, an off week for the Bulldogs, but I'm, I'm sure a busy week nonetheless for you. Yeah, it, it was a perfect week to have off. It, it, from the standpoint, we've got a lot of guys banged up. We do. And uh, uh, Kyle Shump, who's had a terrific freshman uh, season, um, has, he, he's been nursing a, a few different bumps and bruises. We got some other guys, and it was just a good opportunity to let the guys come up for air. Uh, that's our last weekend off now from here to the end of the season. So, uh, you know, we, we're looking at five straight weeks of conference play, uh, first round of playoffs, hopefully a second round of playoffs, hopefully an NCAA tournament. So we're looking at pretty much, uh, let's hope, but two straight more uh, months of hockey. And uh, it was good to have that week off and, and give the guys a little bit of a break. We practiced a couple times during the course of the week. We had them in a the weight room three times. That was a perfect time to catch up on some weightlifting. And then as far as coaches go, we, we took to the road uh, and, and we all went out recruiting different spots. So it was a much needed break. Gave me an opportunity to go and check on a couple of players that we have committed for down the road that we're really looking forward to joining our team a year from now. And Coach, before we go to this week's series against Northern Michigan, uh, first an opportunity to, to talk about a former Bulldog with the Winter Olympics starting this week. Chris Kunitz playing for Team Canada. Just talk about what that means. To the wow. It, it, what a great uh, honor it is for Chris Kunitz and, and certainly a well-deserved honor. Um, I would say that, uh, that uh, of all the, the national teams, uh, whether it be Canada, the United States, Finland, Russia, the hardest one to make would be the Canadian. They, they could field three teams in the Olympics. Uh, and don't get me wrong, like, uh, I think uh, you know these other teams are going to be great. I mean, they all have great players, but the depth of talent that, uh, that Canada has available to choose from and to think that one of our past players is on that Canadian Olympic team, what a special thing. And, and it couldn't happen to really what I consider to be uh, a more humble individual. And uh, it, it's just, it, it really kind of warms the heart to see him make it. And I, I you know, we root for all our players, but certainly uh, Chris um, w with his personality and the way he's really stayed engaged with our university. Every single year he comes back for our golf outing uh, brings his family back. He's got uh, you know, wife and three kids now and, and for him to make time every year to come back here uh, really says a lot and, and I wish him nothing but the best. One of a uh, great number of Bulldog hockey alums. Uh, you've had some guys, other guys playing the National Hockey League this season and certainly a, a record number of guys uh, that signed with different teams in the offseason. Yeah, we've had, we, we, we're starting to populate uh, different rosters in the National Hockey League and kind of judging by a lot that I'm hearing about our, our senior class right now, we'll have one or two that are going to sign. Now, they'll end up in the American League, and they're going to have to. The American League, for the, your listeners out there, are, is basically AAA baseball. So they're going to start out at AAA hockey, if you will, and they'll one rung below the NHL. And uh, hopefully uh, those players, too, over time, we'll see them uh, on NHL rosters. But, you know, whether it be Chad Billings this year or, or uh, Zach Redman and obviously Chris Kunitz and uh, Greg Rollo, those are all players that have been uh, in the National Hockey League, and, and we're very thrilled. You know, I'm, t I'm talking recently. We're, we're thrilled that they're there. Well, Coach, uh, back to this year's team, and obviously a week off this past week, but still a, a slim lead over Minnesota State in the standings with a couple games in hand. And uh, Just talk about the league race. I know you don't look at the standings too much, but still uh, Bulldogs right there at the top of the WCHA. Well, I'll let you in a little secret here. Uh, we, I do follow those standings pretty close. <laughs> and, you know, I know it's coach speak. We're not looking. We're taking it a game at a time, and that's true. But with the off week, you've got nothing left to do uh, come the weekend and look at scores. And um, Northern Michigan did us a favor by knocking off Minnesota State one time on the weekend, and it kept us in the lead outright. We do have the two games in hand, but that's all about converting those into wins. It's going to be a, uh, it's going to come down to the wire, you know. And uh, not only is it us and and uh, Minnesota State, but Northern Michigan, they've got games in hand on us. They're starting to creep into the picture on things. So, you know, it, it's going to be interesting fina uh, uh, finale here to to what re really I think has been a great season for the inaugural WCHA. Um, one of the uh, our first uh, our first. Uh, uh, Number one thing of business here uh, is going to be securing home ice, though. We haven't done that yet. So, we, number one, we want to secure home ice. Then, uh, number two would be to, to look forward to, uh, to hopefully winning the league outright. 
You mentioned Northern Michigan uh, right there in the picture and a team you faced this weekend and a, a talented team you saw earlier in the year. What, what do you expect out of the Wildcats this weekend? Well, they are talented and, and they, they, you know, against us they lost uh, uh, C.J. Ludwig, probably their, their best defenseman and their captain and he went out with a knee injury and I saw it happen. It was kind of a freak accident. Um, they are, they, since we played them though, they've gotten a couple guys in the lineup that had uh, sit out the first semester that are forwards that are very good. So they've got a deep group of, and talented group of forwards. Uh, on defense, they're very good. It's just the, the ranks are a little thin right now, I think, due to injuries. Um, and obviously good goaltending. So they're a very formidable opponent. Uh, we felt very fortunate to escape with three out of four points uh, uh, up in Marquette. And, and we're hoping, you know, the week off doesn't slow us down in terms of sometimes, you know, you come back and you forget the pace of the game and how hard you have to, to play to be successful uh, in the WCHA. Coach, Saturday's game already sold out here against the Wildcats. Uh, limited tickets remain here for Friday's game. Really really speaks volumes uh, to the, the fan support you've received. Third uh, sellout here in the new year for the Bulldogs. How about that? Isn't that terrific? And uh, I always like to, to give uh, a lot of credit to our athletic department, Perk Weisenberger, uh, John Coles, Dom Henning, and yourself, of course, our, our, our people in the ticket office, Linda Bomar. Uh, I mean, these you guys are the ones that make this happen, and whether it's the social media, it's the advertising, and then also the student section. What a terrific group that is. And I think, you know, when you come to a game at Ferris State, it's more than just the hockey experience. You're experiencing a real collegiate environment with real enthusiasm, and that rink rocks on, on game night. And I give our students credit. They're part of the show. You know, the students are part of the show when you come to one of our games. And, and uh, you know, if you want a great atmosphere to bring your family to to watch, watch a game, I can't think of a better place than uh, Ava Glavin Ice Arena. What will be some of the keys for the Bulldogs this weekend going into the Northern Michigan series to, to come away with some wins and some points? Well, one area, two areas uh, we, we've got to improve on, and that's our special teams, our power play and penalty kill. Our, our power play has really, uh, take, you know, re really gone backwards uh, the last little bit. Maybe the week off is going to help us. We did score a power play goal uh, at Michigan Tech in, in the Saturday night game, so maybe that's getting us started off on the right foot. But we've got to retool that. Our penalty kill hasn't been what we've you know expected. The last five to ten years, we've been in, in the top ten in the nation in penalty kill. And for our goaltending to be as good as it is and our penalty kill not to be better, well, we, you know, we're going to have to take a look. So we, we need both those things to, to be improved, not only for this weekend, but as we move forward throughout the remainder of the season. You start the final 10-game stretch and looking forward uh, to what should be some great hockey here over the last couple months of the season. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be great, Rob, and, and we're looking forward to it. And it's going to be uh, each weekend is going to present its own problems and, and own challenges, and we're, we're thrilled uh, to be in the hunt right now. Coach, thanks for your time, and best of luck against the Wildcats this weekend. Thank you, Rob. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.